Mm -hmm. Just looking at the actual fraud, you know, a concealment or false representation <laughs> through an intentional or reckless statement or conduct that injures another who relies on it in acting. <laughs> fraud in fact, positive fraud and moral fraud. <laughs> now, <laughs> this recklessness on the part of the judiciary to issue court orders where there is no signature of the petitioner. <laughs> where you put me in jail when I didn't commit crimes and then you didn't admit the evidence that I wasn't in those cities? You materially misrepresenting that I'm innocent. Now, I looked through some of the emails that I had and I went back to June 16th of 2017 and I'm absolutely sure that I didn't commit any crime. So, for over a year, mm -hmm. since August 8th of 2017, the Port Angeles Police Department has intentionally committed the crime of fraud because they've allowed the rest of the nation to think that they didn't get any emails. Your fraud as a police department is going to cause you to go to prison. Now, I want you to do what the law requires. This whole thought that, well, we'll keep him homeless and we won't acknowledge the laws and we sure aren't going to allow for the removal of, of court orders where it's obvious that there's an immense amount of fraud. <laughs> you did not issue any of the court orders since July 8th of 2011, according to the laws of the United States. Now, I wanted a phone call. You wouldn't allow that to happen. Instead, you want to continue to believe that your fraud will not be exposed and that you yourselves won't go to prison. You're going to prison. Now, as I say, I'm not getting an attorney or motioning a fucking court that covers up the fraud of putting innocent Americans in jail. You require me mental health evaluations when it's obvious that this signature is not the signature. There is no signature here. You had no jurisdiction or authority of law to issue any of these, and that means you had no jurisdiction or authority of law to arrest me for violating the protection order. So every arrest has involved fraud. Your intentional misrepresentation that what you're doing is legal when it's not. Now, <laughs> I want you to remove every court order. The dissolution of marriage. Let's go through it again, okay? <laughs> I was not given notice of court hearings. <laughs> you issued a permanent support order where I'm guessing that it's about $136,000 <laughs> without having me have notice of actual court hearings because you are committing fraud. <laughs> you gave the custody of my sons to a woman that intentionally abducted them from the international Gomanian territory because of the use of the passport necessary to travel on July second of 2011 <laughs> and for some reason you're sitting there thinking well we just have to cover up all this fraud that we've been committing because if we don't we're going to go to now i've told you as a police department that you cannot cover up fraud that would be your attempt to conceal or false representation through an intentional or reckless statements or conduct that injures myself, <laughs> my family, <laughs> corporations that are enabling you to do that. How many corporate gen <laughs> general councils of every corporation of the United States have a sworn statement that they would not oppress <laughs> any American citizen? Mm -hmm. Now, I told the general councils of the corporations, okay, Microsoft. <laughs> That also every fucking general counsel that has sworn on oath that they would support the laws of this state in the United States. And for every attorney oath as a general counsel that has practiced as a corporation, any Supreme Court of the United States, I'll see every fucking one of them. Now, you've been very reckless. Very reckless. 
Now, you're concealing or false representation, actual fraud. <laughs> you're concealing the use of the state court seal, pooch. <laughs> you're concealing the signature of the ex-official superior court clerk as being the signature when it isn't. <laughs> you're concealing that you violated the RCWs of this state every fucking time. <laughs> Protection order. Now, I just want you to know something. When I told you that I didn't want to sleep in a place where I could get kicked out of the place because you don't want to enforce my victim's rights, that meant that I wanted a phone call. I'm not going to call you, Sheriff, okay? You're not going to save the day. You're going to prison. Now, <laughs> There's uh, the advanced fee fraud. Oh. <laughs> Pay fees in anticipation of receiving a much larger benefit that ultimately is never received. <laughs> Have we ever heard of these? Uh, <laughs> well, if you just pay a little bit of money, you'll make that much more money. <laughs> You know, while going through Facebook, it seems like a lot of people are making a lot of money. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I noticed that if you said, get that money, okay, <laughs> on Facebook profiles, it seems like a lot of these profiles are making a lot of money. <laughs> and I, I've sat there and I thought to myself, exactly how would you do it? <laughs> would you message somebody or use Hangout Pooch? Get them to believe that, well, if you just give me $1,000, you can get $100,000 because that's how we do it. <laughs> now, wouldn't it be a, a very sad thing if Facebook was involved in large pyramid schemes of those defrauding uh, uh, other Facebook profiles mm -hmm, mm -hmm, because of them getting them to give them some money? <laughs> now, sometimes I friend those that others may or may not think are attractive, but I do. <laughs> And I don't want a stereotype, okay? It's not like the black community would try to get money from a white man, 48 years old, that looks like myself. <laughs> but all of those that I have friended... It's not like I don't find a very large-breasted black woman with tattoos all over her body very attractive. <laughs> it seems yes. <laughs> that once in a while I'll click on a profile and be a very attractive woman. Yes. <laughs> but then I find out she's from the University of Ghana or Nigeria or one of these types of places. Yes. <laughs> Could you just run through all the profiles on uh, Facebook and give me all the African nation profiles, the Nigerians, the Gwahanians, the Congo? <laughs> it seems that sex sells. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And give me the Hangouts, <laughs> the WhatsApp. Yes. <laughs> There was a very nice friend of mine on Facebook. She said, well, do you use Hangouts or WhatsApp? And I'm like, no, I don't really call or text anybody. <laughs> we can message each other. That's nice. <laughs> right. Right. But wouldn't it be something if you were using Facebook to uh, be involved in what's known as advanced fee fraud? Yes, it would. <laughs> Now, how would you know? <laughs> Go through the profiles and look at each of the country of origin of each of the profiles. Yes, yes, yes. Now, you could take their word for it, okay, when they made the profile. Yes, you could. <laughs> or you could go through the IP addresses of each and every profile as they've been made. <laughs> Thank you.